Tonight in the battle for third place, AK Leleye challenges the very experienced Rico Hoy. My nickname is AK-47, the Nigerian assassin. Coming into the house being the lightest guy, size does not matter. You can go pick on a little guy if you want to, you'll be regretting it. Despite being the smallest fighter in the tournament, AK showed he had a tremendous heart. If you're the little guy, guerrilla warfare is the basic tactics that you have to resort to guarantee you victory. It's whatever it takes to win the fight. And he proved a force to be reckoned with. In the first fight, AK went toe to toe with the power punching Eric Bader. It became a battle of wills. And AK outwilled Eric to come away a winner. Your winner, AK 47. AK then followed up with another impressive performance. In the second fight, he knocked out Puerto Rico's Alfredo Escalera Jr. and moved one step closer to the contender championship. In the semifinals, AK faced a formidable opponent in Canada's Troy Ross. AK once again showed great heart and a tremendous chin, but Troy used his size and speed to defeat the smaller fighter. The contender tournament is the real deal. I'm going to go back to, to the gym, get stronger, gain a little bit more weight and a little bit more muscle, and I'll be unstoppable. His opponent tonight, Rico Hoy, hails from Detroit, Michigan. He's a veteran fighter with a checkered past. I got into some trouble, and I went away for quite a few years. When I was released, Box gave me a second chance, really, at life. He's a natural talent, and his experience made him an early frontrunner in the tournament. In the first fight, Rico fought the very determined Mike Alexander. And Mike gave Rico all he could handle, but in the end, Rico dug deep to come out with the win. In the second fight, Rico faced Joel Godfrey. In a great fight, Rico used his jab and some power punching to force Joel to take a knee in the last round, no! handing Rico the victory. I am definitely an elite fighter. I belong at the top of the heap. Moving forward into the semifinals, Rico squared off with the flashy Hollywood Hino Ahikamanoa, who, after five tough rounds, derailed Rico's hopes of winning the contender championship. I gave it everything I could. Um, it ain't over with. Tonight, it's A.K. Leleye versus Rico Hoy. Let the battle begin. Uh, it's going to be an interesting dynamic. This is uh, certainly runner-up. They can't win it all, but it'll still springboard the winner into bigger things, Wally. All right, let's see how they stack up here. You see Rico Hoy, 34 years old, seven years older than his man, AK, but the height advantage, five inches for Rico Hoy. The weight, five pounds. The reach, interestingly enough, in favor of AK. And there are the unified rules. No three knockdown rule, no standing eight count. Only the referee can stop the fight. No saving by the bell in any round. And remember, the contender was five rounds. This is an eight-rounder. It's the semifinals of the big finish here at Foxwood. People still pouring into this arena, beautiful arena at the MGM. And now we see the man from Nigeria, AK-47, Akinyemi Laleya. Personality plus. Surprised he doesn't have the shades on this time. I was going to say, he seems really <laughs> tight, doesn't he? This guy uh, definitely... Uh, from Lagos, Nigeria, lives in Las Vegas, boxer, puncher. He's got the speed, the movement, the technical skills, Wally, but he has insinuated to us that why move when you can punch, and I want to knock Rico Hoy out. Well, you know, he can punch, but a big part of this game also, Nick, is the inside fight, and that's the kind of fight you have to fight with Rico Hoy. You cannot be at the end of his punches. you got to get inside. That's the big test here for AK. If he gets inside, he makes it a very difficult night. You know, also in the audience, his mom will see him fight for the first time. She's here. He's also dedicating this fight to a cancer patient in Michigan. The contender put AK-47 on the fast track. Now it's all on him to take it to the next level. from prospect to contender, went to the United Kingdom and lost a world title fight to a champion, a IBF champion Clinton Woods at light heavyweight. Two years later, he was back for another title crack at light heavyweight, knocked out in that. But since then, he had gone on a winning streak in Singapore before getting out hustled by Hino Ahekamanoa. And that's why 
Pinos in the finals, and Rico Hoy is fighting for third place now. That's got to be a big disappointment to him. I think he came in here figuring, you know, I'm the class of this class, world, and I'm right. going to win this. But as he said in the feature that we just saw, boxing gave him a second chance in life. The contender is now giving him a second chance in boxing. I agree. He can still go places. It's all about visibility now. Good luck, gentlemen. Our ring announcer tonight is John Vina, and he'll take it away now. Ladies and gentlemen, from the MGM Grand Theater here at Foxwoods Resort Casino, your next contest is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing in the Cruiserweight division to determine third place in the fourth season of The Contender. Your three judges scoring this bout in a 10-point must system are Tommy Kazmarek, Jack Reese, and Dr. Clark Sammartino. And your referee in charge of the action once the bell rings is Arthur Mercanti. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white, trim with green. His weight this evening, 194 pounds. His professional record reads 12 victories, only two defeats with six big wins coming by way of knockout. Originally from Nigeria, now hailing from St. Petersburg, Florida, bringing guerrilla warfare into the ring. Please welcome Akinyemi, AK-47, Lali! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner to my right, wearing black with green trim. His weight this evening, 199 pounds. His outstanding record reads 22 victories, only three defeats, with 15 big wins coming by way of knockout. He hails from the Motor City of Detroit, Michigan. Please welcome the former NABO, the WBC Continental Americas, and former IBA Continental Light Heavyweight Champion, Rico Suave Horn. Eight rounds, cruiserweights. Referee Arthur McKinney with final ring instructions. Let's go, gentlemen. Let's go, gentlemen. Good evening, gentlemen. Rui, you received the rules early in the night. Let's have a nice, clean fight. Go toe to toe, touch gloves, and good luck to the both of you. Child, rest Again, in peace. we invite you to log in and get on the uh, get on board. We want to see how you have it as we go through the rounds. Will it be a short night? We'll see. Rico Hoy is definitely the power puncher in this fight. He got out hustled in the last fight. Now he's fighting for third place. And AK-47 says again that he's the guy who's going to put pressure on Wally. I he's got to about be. that. Well, he, he better be. I'll tell you what, because you can see the size difference on your TV screen. It's even bigger here in person. I mean, it's a huge difference in size. Listen to me. Stop holding. Well, you, if you're talking, I, I suppose, obviously, height. It's Yeah, it's a five-inch difference. Same reach. That's interesting, enough. isn't it? That actually AK's reach is a half an inch, obviously a negligible advantage, but you would think that he would be the much shorter arm fighter, and he's not. Yeah, Rico said he wants to make it easier, use his boxing skills, come off that jab, turn, run him into shots. So he wants to use the ring, and AK-47 wants to shrink the ring. It'll be interesting. Rico Hoy is well, in the black and green. So far, you know what? AK Stop is putting his fight plan into play here a lot better than Rico. Rico is not using his height advantage yet. I mean, he's got to fight tall. He's got to fight long against this guy. Big right hand from the Hoy. Hoy's in front now, but he's winging shots, and Break. they're not landing. Break. Stop rabbit punching now. Box. That's You're a right, Wally, That's he, the punch. He's almost giving it up there. He's fighting very wide stance, uh, Rico. But Lalea has to come to him a little bit. He's in his wheelhouse right now, and Rico's not punching. But I will say this for Rico Hoy. You know, he looked sluggish in the last fight in Singapore. It does not look sluggish tonight. Well, it reports that he was having trouble making 200 pounds. He was 199, and it's AK-47 throwing more punches. Yeah, which I think is what we expected pretty much. The interesting thing about Rico Hoy is his whole whoa, good oh, left oh, nice left Hoy. hook that wobbled. And a left hook from AK that wobbled. Yep, and another right. left hook from AK. So now serious infighting. And they're able to hold and hit with a free hand. Good short hook by AK on the inside. AK-47 
is right in front. He's bobbing, not really looking. He's pinning his head to the chest of Hoy, and he catches him with a right hand. You know, right now, this inside fight is working much, much better for AK than it is for Rico Hoy. Well, he's the faster guy, too, it looks like, Rolling. Yep, and he's the shorter puncher. Right hand. Hoy's holding on a little bit. That hurts. He might also be the stronger guy now. Yeah, it's amazing. And here's a guy who, you know, soaking wet is 190 pounds usually, he said. Remember, the contender was five rounds. This may be going eight <laughs> or less. Maybe. <laughs> Big left hooks from AK-47. Not a lot of technique there, but he works his way inside. And as you said, Hoy not keeping him at the end of his jab. We'll be back for round two. Cut. All right, here you're going to see how the inside fight goes all AK-47's way. You see the two short right hands. When Rico Hoy's arms are pinned like that, Nick, there's really not much he can do. Rico Hoy, they want him box more. Don't stand there and get countered. Keep your hands up. But boy, Wally, AK-47's done a great job of controlling pace to this fight and range. Yes, and I think he's being helped somewhat by Rico Hoy not doing what he just did there, which is jabbing. He's got to pump out that jab and keep his man at a distance, and he did very, very little of that in round one. Boy, Hoy complaining he was hit behind the head. He should be fighting instead. Now, once once they start worrying about <laughs> things like that, it's not good. I agree. The other thing is he's really not punching with any authority. He's oh. kind of pushing his right hand out. He's right trying now. to zero in on that right hand. Yeah, but it's not it's not a good punch. He's not just letting it go. He's kind of aiming it. Not a lot of power on it. AK just coming in head down, just trying to bob under shots. He'll know he knows coming but he is applying the pressure walking down Rico Hoy we just had the graphic up there the punch count in the first round you see that uh, AK-47 pretty good uh, advantage in connects and also uh, the less busy guy but the much more accurate puncher and I think that's the key uh, he's been busy enough though to really take Hoy out of his rhythm Roy Hoy's got to start establishing control and as you said, Wally, it starts with the jab. It starts range. Absolutely, Nick. It starts and ends with the jab. And, you know, as soon as he gets off that stick and lets his man get I'm in there, now. then it becomes AK's fight. And that's the kind of stuff he has to do. Body shot from Hoy, but AK is relentless. He's got his head, chin to the chest. It's the way a shorter guy fights the taller man. He wants to make this an inside war and blast away. And you know what? Those punches that Rico Hoy is landing on the inside, really not powerful at all. It looks like an old lady beating the rug. Now they'll try to turn on that hook. So Hoy's getting into a slugfest where he wanted to box, box, and run the shorter man into shots. Nothing's working that way for him. There was a good shot, a left hook by Hoy. He needs that extension, you think? Huh? Absolutely. He needs that, you know, foot and a half. Improve. He's got to step back. So Hoy smothering his power, but... AK-47 smothering Hoy Double like that. Down. Yep. Quick. Good pace to this fight for Cruiserweights. Stop holding, both of you. Stop holding. Get in his chest. Get in his chest. Wally, it's early, but just uh, facial expression, body language. It's uh, Lalea looking like he's the guy who wants it more. But now here comes Hoy. As we speak. This is the first time. back, AK-47. Yes. First time he's been able to do that. Let's see if he'll stay macho, thinking he can do it again. As we close out, round three. Here we are in Foxwoods. It's the semifinals of the contender finals. Uh, and a guy who's been with them every step of the way, Tony Danza, is with one of the finalists now. Tony. Thank you, Nick. I'm here with uh, Hino Ahikamanor. And Hino, let me tell you, as you're watching this now, as you're watching this battle, because you know these yeah. two guys really well, what are you thinking? I'm, I'm loving it. It's a great matchup. Great matchup. I'm lucky I'm not in there with AK, my <laughs> fellow African brother. <laughs> and what do you think about tonight's fight with Troy? It's going to be a great fight. Different different styles, um, power, speed. Um, he, the only difference is he's a South Pole and conventional. Yeah. So. so let me ask you something. Remember when you, you first heard about the contender? Would yeah. you tell me how much money did you have in your pocket? 
I had like five dollars and I needed sixty more cents to to order my house special fried rice <laughs> with chicken wings. So there's a big opportunity for you tonight. Huh? Massive, massive. Right. the biggest of my and, life. And you, 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 what do you think? How do you? I'm how do you just see gonna it? grasp it. You're gonna you know, grasp it. All right, it's listen, all in God's hands. Everybody wishes you good luck. You know, good yes, night. Sir. Okay, guys, back to you, up. Nick. Uh, we look forward to being ringside with you, Tony, for Seconds that one. Out. Wally. Talk about hunger, here it is. All right, here's the end of the round where Rico Hoy actually did some pretty good damage because he landed at the end of his punches and was able to drive AK back. Who'd you give the round to, Wally? Tough round, I gave it to AK. No, I'm sorry, I should look at my own scorecard. I gave it to Hoy. Could be even here. AK 47's in the white and the black is Rico Hoy. Hoy's fought for a world title twice and failed at light heavyweight. And maybe the guy who's near to being a light heavyweight, AK 47, or Leia in there banging away took that first round easily probably the first two. yeah the second round was a tough one to score and uh, I gave it to Hoy because of that last flurry where he seemed to get a bit of a reaction out of AK but he's falling into the same pattern he you know that cost him I think round one very experienced judges here ringside break. step back on the break Jack Reese, Clark San Martino, and Tommy Kazmarek. And there you can see right there how close the round was. 16 connects for Hoy, 14 for AK. So I feel okay about my score right now. Knock your box numbers. Telling here at Foxwoods. It's the semifinals of the contender, or the runner-up, uh, I should say the bronze medal, so to speak. Match. It's Hoy with his back to us now. He isn't shortening up. You're right, Wally. He is right where AK wants him to be, which is against the ropes. Can't get any extension on his punches. Playing AK's game and getting beat at it right now. AK trying to come up as he pinned. Now he gets clipped with a left hook. So that was good. AK wasn't doing enough. He's laughing about it here. But he is getting hit. He's getting the worst of it. I'm not yeah, saying he's getting abused. I'm but he's not punching anymore. I am surprised that Hoy didn't spin him there and take a step back and start using his reach again. I'll tell you, Alea isn't punching anymore. No, I think he got hurt by a body shot. He, in fact, he has the look of a guy right now yeah, well, Rico, who's having trouble breathing. Well, so what should Rico do? Push him off and get some extension? I thought he should have spun him before, and there's no reason why he shouldn't do it now. AK's got nothing on his shots. Nothing now. Good shot by Hoy to the body. Hoy's going to try that overhand right over the ear. Not much on those body shots, but he's out punching AK. AK, again, coming back with very little. His eyes almost look closed. He's not looking where he's punching. I think he's recovering a little bit now, Nick. You know, I think he might have gotten hit in the pit of the stomach or the solar plexus, and that'll take you out of the fight, you know, for a good 30 seconds, 45 seconds. But he seems to be recovering now. Rico Hoy having a big round. He's on the right and here. He's trying to walk down AK-47 in the middle of the ring. Alayla the African now living in the States. In the white, he's holding on and not punching much. Yeah, but what he is doing, he's exerting his power on Rico Hoy. That wears a guy down. He's not taking many backward steps. He is using his strength on him. And Hoy's trying to line him up as we close out a big third round for him. All right, let's take a look. Let's see where things started to go wrong here for AK in round three. There's a body shot. I think that was it, man. I think it was right in the solar plexus. He still did not look right in his corner between rounds and three and four. And he doesn't look right here in the fourth, Wally. He's getting hammered. And his corner had no advice except how do you feel? Don't get hit no, so much. Stay fact, in the chest. Somebody not said something incredibly damaging in that corner. Somebody said to him, eight like rounds is a yeah. long time. Why would you want to remind like the fighter of that? Well, why would you not want to give him some advice? They're going to get hard on them. Uh, they should be telling him what to do differently. Oh, yeah. He's getting punished now. You never remind a tired fighter who's got a long way to go. Now, Rico Hoy's got to get on that jab. He's just trying to get into rhythm, but look, AK-47 coming back with very little. I'm surprised Hoy hasn't seen Break. that or sensed that, unless he's a little gassed himself, Wally. It's only three be. rounds in. It might be, but it's been a good Keep pace, and he's been under a lot of pressure. You know, AK was putting on a ton of pressure in the first two rounds, and then you see an overwhelming, by the standards of this fight so far, third round for Rico Hoy. Right hand by Hoy lands. AK-47 in the white. Good left hook, too. Nice body work from Hoy as he's trying Stop to rough home. up Lalea. I would keep working that body because I think that's where the damage has been done so far. If I'm yeah. Rico Hoy. Cross hook. 
Rico now in AK's 40, uh, 47's face. He's the one who wants it in tight. Right, it's become safe for him in there now. Good point. Break. Step back. Here's the online scoring, and they've got it even here. Well, you round it up. You know, my, my son's learning this in math now, so 28.8 is really 29. 28.3 is really 28. So Hoy's up by a point. That's yeah, the way we've got it. I believe we both have it the same way. Hoy winging shots here. And the, the work rate for AK-47 oh. is way down. Right hand from Hoy lands out of the clinch, but here comes AK-47. Try to get ahead of steam up. He got caught with a left flush, and he's in bad trouble. He's in shape. Arthur McCanny taking a hard look. Nothing coming back from the layup. He's trying to roll away from the punches uh, as much as he can, but he's, he's catching him. They're going to stop it if he doesn't do something. At least hold on there. This guy, he's trying to get on the jab, but there's nothing on the layup's punches. Stop holding now. Hoy, Hoy gets a little punched out, oh. Wally. Stop holding now. Go yes, he does. Break. You know, it's it's uh, it's a tough pace so far. But, you know, really, to me, Rico Hoy came in looking a little bit soft at the weight. I know the word was he was having trouble making yeah. it. He looks like he could, you know, that he might be a little bit soft at 199. A.K. Lalea, another bad round for him. Well, he got a, snuck a shot in there. So he did come back, but another round it would appear in the bank for Rico Hoy and more oh, damage without AK-47. Yeah. He on, never on, recovered baby, from on, what happened on. to him in come round on. three. Let's see if they have any advice this time. You gotta come back, you gotta throw them punches. You can't wait, baby, you can't wait. I, come on, baby, you want this? You want this, baby? You gotta be first, man. You gotta be first, baby. Come on, man, come on, look, look. There's his mother, smile on her face. Her son certainly isn't smiling. He's probably lost the last three rounds. But Mrs. Alea seeing her son in person fighting for the first time here in the contender semifinals. Okay? So you mix up the numbers with him. He's trying to count with you. Okay. Okay, but he ain't no Floyd Mayweather. So make him count and lose count. And to get back on your stick, he's tired. Okay. But be careful because he's trying he's to throw trying a to right hand. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Okay? Yes, sir. That's okay. Fine. This is easy picking, baby, yes, but sir. you got to be alert. Okay. Okay? All right. Bad place for AK-47 here in round number four. You'll notice Hoy heard him, and he knows it this time, and he's just pouring it on here. Job, You're right. That's Arthur McCanny was taking a close look at it, Nick, but I do not think that was the right time to stop it. Obviously not. He made it through the round, and we'll see how he does now in round five. Well, let's go back to what worked for AK-47. He was right in Hoy's face in the first round. I never really thought he should stay in there the whole fight, but uh, obviously he doesn't want to try to box this guy. No, he can't, can't box him. No, the, the right place for him to be is on the inside, Nick, but what happened is that the fight Stop changed. Holding. The fight changed when he got Step hurt back, with that body shot, Step and now he is no longer able to punch, or he wasn't able in the past two rounds, to punch with the same kind of speed or authority he was in the first two. I don't know if it's good or bad, Wally, but Hoy definitely, certainly not leisurely about it, but he's not getting ahead of himself he, at all. You know, you just picked out the perfect word. He does at times get a little lackadaisical in the ring. You're absolutely right. He gets hit with a left hook there, but drives a couple of combinations forward. Uh, Great. Nothing Great. really I'm landing that forward. clean. Here's that gets a little rough. I like that. Let's go. You see, like right there, he's, he's really not putting a Get lot on that right hand. Up, now, son. I'm sure before this round is over, he will go back to, uh, you know, the authoritative punching he did in the last round. But it just comes and goes. Yeah, and I'm not liking Lalea's uh, technique inside. His hands are so right. low when he's not punching, he's just there to be clocked flush. It's not the same fighter anymore. Now he's covering up. That seems to be better, but he's been so wide open underneath. The boy's trying to... Nail him Watch with an uppercut, head. perhaps. It's getting sloppy. Rolling. This is not this is not effective punching by either guy right now. Stop holding. Hoy needs a little bit more punching. Stop. Here. Stop. Go to the corner. One point holding. One point holding. One point holding. Come on. Let's go. Crowd doesn't huh. like I'm it, holding. but Arthur I'm not McCann. sure I like it. Like and I love that. Arthur McCann. He's a good on. friend of mine, well, but I'm not sure I like that. He had warned them once. There weren't a bunch of emphatic warnings. That's it. But it Box. must have been blatant enough for him. Obviously. Right. Whoa. Look out. Come Tommy Kazmarek, the uh, 
Yeah, Elderly him. gentleman you see there, an esteemed referee, almost got a basket full of a cruiserweight. Time, time. Come here, son. Come here. Let's listen. We're going to act like gentlemen and professionals in here, okay? okay? Let's knock off the bull, all right? Touch gloves. Time in. Now of, that I agree with. All the bulls been from AK-47. I don't know what Rico Hoy did to elicit that kind I, of a response. I agree that uh, that Arthur McCanny had to warn them there. That was definitely a bad move by AK. Well. Oh, left hand flush. But AK took it flush and comes back, wrapping shots to the body. He's trying to break through and break down Hoy. Head. But he will go down punching. Get out of this round, another bad one. It was a 10-8 round now. Hey! Absolutely that right. point deduction. Now there's no doubt it's a two-point round. Tony Danza now with the other finalists. We'll see you in a moment. Tony. Thank you, Nick. Thanks. I'm here. I'm here with Troy Ross. Troy the Ross. <laughs> Troy the Boss Ross. Excuse me. Troy, I know it's right before the fight, and it's a tough time to talk to you, but how are you feeling right now, and, and what's on your mind as you're watching this? Well, pretty much, Tony. I'm just ready to um, step in the ring and uh, you know let my hands is my let my hands fly. Yeah, I feel great right now. Yeah, th this is a big opportunity, right, Troy? I mean, this is the one you've been waiting for, isn't it? Am I right? Oh, definitely. This is a long time coming, and um, we're looking forward to it. I got a great team. I got my um, cousin Chris Amos that's been helping me out uh, training and everything. My cousin Egerton Marcus. Um, you I know, saw we got your a, whole we, family. We, I really and my whole family is here, so. Um, it's great. Like, I mean, I feel really good, and I'm ready to go on the ring and just, uh, you know, display my boxing skills. All right. Well, well, listen, Troy, we're all rooting for you. Have a good time. Hey, Nick, take it away, pal. Well, it's Troy Ross, Eno Hekamonor, in our final coming up later. You see it there. Hino riding a wave. Troy Ross, the two-time Olympian from Canada. All right, let's take a look at why Arthur McCandy took the point away from here. And it's because he's got Rico Hoy's arm in the crook of his right arm right there, his left arm. I don't know. I, you know, it's kind of a tough point deduction for that. One that uh, AK-47 did not need. Absolutely not. He's dangerously behind now. Points are not easy to come by for him anymore. Look, three rounds to go, and he's only won one on our cards. And it's a two-point differential on that last one, it would seem. AK-47, definitely not a KO artist. And Rico Hoy, he's been stopped hold, by hold championship it. caliber and Titleist before, but beyond that, him, he's got a chin. AK 47's got to start out working, Rico Hoy. Trying to blast away, and he's getting standing in front, absorbing shots. And Hoy strictly headhunting now. And now, you know what? Once AK starts Wait. backing up like that, it's all Rico Hoy's fight. It's the opposite of the way the fight began, Nick, where AK was coming forward, forcing the fight dragging Rico Hoy into his fight and winning it. You know, once he starts going backward, just turn that whole thing around. You know, Wally, is, uh, we were talking about body language early, and Alea had certainly had it, and Rico Hoy looked like he almost indifferent, didn't want to be here, and didn't look like he was ready to bite down. But he's absolutely changed this fight, and you're right. It could have been that one body shot. But oh, with that, I'm, I'm convinced of it. But it, yeah, because uh, Alea's never been the same, and he looks like a fighter okay, who looks hopelessly outclassed now. Without a, Even worse than that, he, he looks like a fighter who's discouraged. Yeah. Really looks like a guy who no longer really believes he's going to win this yeah, game. Yeah, he came in really believing he was. Yeah. Brimming, brimming with confidence. He's had it taken away, but Rico Hoy, class will tell, you know, Stop holding. so far. And it's interesting, you know, the, the, right. the obvious thing would have been that Rico Hoy would have kept AK at a distance with his jab, outboxed him not allowed all Come this on, wrestling fellas. and actually the thing that's winning him in the fight was a punch that was delivered on the inside good point well he's obviously tasted the guns of uh, AK-47 and it's just not discouraging him enough here inside Lalela trying to outwork Hoy Hoy wraps him on the right tries to get a little extension but doesn't really push him off there he's still in tight Smothering his power a little bit. Now trying to line him up for the big right hand. Yeah, but the thing is, see, now he knows he's the stronger guy now. I didn't think he was early in the fight. But he is now because AK's legs are not the same. He's able to push him back easily. And he's really not paying much of a price for coming in like that. Yeah, power punches now from Rico Hoy. We're closing out the sixth. And AK-47, Alela, is running out of clock here at Foxwoods. We'll be back with the seventh after this. Hey!
Back here for round seven, Rico Hoy, AK-47, and Leia. One thing, Wally, about AK, he only had 11 fights, really sub-level opposition before he got into the contender, and it's really showing now. Hoy's, Hoy's experience is telling. You're 100% right, and that's been, you know, a problem with a lot of guys in the contender. It's basically, for the most part, inexperienced guys who are taking a shot at becoming household names on a TV show, and you can't blame them for doing it, but then there comes a point where you got to win a real fight. This is a real fight. Yeah, the reach exceeds the grasp, and AK saying, bring it on. And by the same token, you got a Rico Hoy who thinks the contender That's is going to spring work. him into another title shot, and he lets down and loses a fight that he probably shouldn't have lost. So right. But Hoy has found the openings here. And it was that body shot to the solar plexus, we would say. Stop holding. That took the wind out of AK-47. He's punching. There's very little on it. Nothing to discourage Hoy. Make him think twice. Hoy tries to drive him back now. Oh. He warns AK once again. Come on. Hands are free. In fighting, yes, their hands are free. Little left hand from Lalela, but nothing on it, Wally. Nothing. On it. Hey, if you take a look at the punches in round six, to me, that it's kind of, of a deceptive uh, edge there. It's only one, one, one uh, punch, I should say, for Rico Hoy, but. Just from watching the fight without counting the punches, it was clear who was dominating the round. I think Rico Hoy won the round. Yeah, the quality shots unquestionably belong to Rico Hoy all night. You know, it's almost as if AK kind of senses that his punches haven't really had an effect on Rico Hoy, and I think that's discouraged him as much as the body shot, you know, that seemed to turn the fight. You're right, and uh, fans have it as well, Hoy. Pulling away. I'll tell you, man, we got some sharp audience. Round up, round down, baby. 59, hey, they're, 55. They're 54. fight fans on That's versus. That's what I got. I like it. Left hook from Hoy. Hoy's just about to abandon the jab. It's all power punches now. He really doesn't need it anymore. Hand. That was back of the hand. That yeah. was a backhand, which is illegal. Yeah. Well, he got warned. He got scolded. Hoy having his way. And while he hit on it, he's tasted the power of the. Uh, Lalela, and he's not worried about it. Yeah, he knows he can take it. Hoy has been down and out before. He lost the decision to, you know, the heck of a more in the uh, semifinals. And that one, he's just got to be kicking himself over. He really does. Not that uh, heck of a is not a good fighter. He is, but, I mean, you know, Rico Hoy came in as the class of the field, and he's got to be disappointed to be fighting for the consolation prize. Yeah, and that's why you never, you just wonder, is it just a consolation? Is it a bronze medal? Does it matter? It matters to Hoy. He won this round, too. Huh. It's the contender semifinals. Nick Charles, Wally Matthews. Pretty packed house here at Foxwoods, the MGM Arena. Delighted you could join us. You've watched this series all the way through. We're hoping you have and seen these guys fight for recognition, credibility, a chance to break through. And going in, a lot of momentum belonged to AK, 47 and white, but it's been drained here, Wally. Absolutely, systematically drained over, you know, the first seven rounds. and. Uh, Boy, looks like he wants to no <laughs> make it the eighth round as well. I just want to point out something. You, know, you mentioned that they're fighting for the bronze medal, which is kind of a contrivance yeah. of the contender series. These guys are professional boxers. They're not fighting for medals. They're fighting no, for money, and they're fighting boys. for the chance to Work. advance in their weight class. So, you know, for Rico Hoy, let's not forget, it is a fight that he has to win. Yeah. You know, and he's not thinking, oh, geez, I'm only getting a bronze medal tonight. He's thinking this is a boxing match that I have to win to keep moving up. Absolutely. He feels he could jump right back into the picture. He's a natural cruiserweight. He failed in title fights at light heavyweight, but doing well in this tournament, and third place would do well. He's not even thinking of, you know, where he's finishing within the contender. He's thinking tonight, yeah. you know, here we are, Mar uh, right February go. 25th. I got a fight to win. But going in, he knew that getting this far was something he absolutely had to do. When he's 34 years old, it's time to move again. Oh, yeah. Nice right hand from uh, Lalela. Oh, he gets battered, little baby uppercuts. Hoy was supposed to be boxing and uh, keeping it at the end of the jab, according to his corner. It ain't going to happen here in you the You know ace. what? He's found a way, though, to, to beat AK at his own fight. Past couple of rounds, and, and he's staying with it, and I really can't blame him. But I just want to say this to you. You and I did that tremendous Adam Cunningham fight. 
you know, probably two of the best cruiserweights in the world. And I don't see either one of these guys hanging with them. Not being close. Absolutely. Oh, nice two-way action. Whoa. AK-47 with two right hands. But it just seems to rev Hoy's engines. Inside a minute, crowd getting into it. Good AK-47 win another Wait, round. I've only given him the seconds. first. Me too. It's academic with the score. Unless AK-47 knocks out Rico Hoy, yeah, it's over. And let's not forget, he did lose that point as well oh, in a yeah. round that he, that he lost on its own yeah. merits. And it doesn't even matter for 69-63 here on our cards. Yeah, now he needs a KO. We can't be that far off. <laughs> He looks tired He's now. Got nothing left. Yep. He, like, he gave it his best shot there, and that's about it. I'm glad this is eight rounds because I think both guys are as happy as we are that <laughs> it's over. They're now. glad it's eight rounds. Yes. And that's the way it'll finish. Here at Foxwoods on the contender. Nice fight, boys. And there it is, Rico Hoy, the way we saw it, the way you saw it at home, with an easy distance win over A.K. Laleya. We'll see, we'll get the official word here at Foxwood. The contender continues right after this. We're back at Foxwoods, the MGM Grand Arena waiting to see officially who won this third place fight, but coming up next, who will join the ranks of contender champions? You're looking at Eno Ehekamanor. He will battle Canadian Troy Ross with the knockout power he's displayed in this tournament. Will it work this time. Sergio Mora, the contender champion last year. Again. Season one champion. <laughs> and of course, Grady Brewer came out of nowhere that year. Nowhere to win it all. Wow. Tells you what happens here, how it can launch you into big things. Saki Obika, man with the iron fists, won it last year. He's gone on to big things. He will challenge soon for 168 pound title. We're here at Foxwoods. Let's see who wins this third place matchup. So let's go to John Vina, our ring announcer now. Ladies and gentlemen, from the MGM Grand Theater here at Foxwoods Resort Casino, we go to the scorecards after eight exciting rounds of boxing. All three judges, Tommy Kasmarek, Dr. Clark San Martino, and Jack Reese, score the bout 79-72. All to your winner by unanimous decision, Rico Suave Horn. You can see their friends again, you know, living in the same place in Singapore, training together, fighting each other. These two meeting for the first time, of course, in the ring with third place on the line tonight. But a good display of mutual regard here. Rico Hoy, simply too much experience and class tonight, wins it easily. Final CompuBox punch stats as we look at it here. Hoy, very active, almost 100 punches around for a cruiserweight. That's quite a work rate for him. He landed enough, the quality shots were there, and he dominated this fight. We had it that way, the three judges did. And you had it the same way at home. We invite you to do the same. Stay online. Keep score. Our main event is coming up next. In the meantime, Wally Matthews with the third place winner, Rico Hoy now. Wally. All right, thanks, Nick. You know, he calls himself Rico Suave. There was nothing suave about that. That no, was a no. down and dirty performance. Hey, that was guerrilla warfare. Hey, hey, that's what AK called it, baby. That's all that was. We were just in the trenches.
Now, it seemed like in the first round he pressured you a lot. I thought he won the first round. It was the only yeah. round that I gave him, and then you made an adjustment after that. What did you do to turn the fight around? Um, you know what? I just followed my instructions. My coach, Adi Saluki, is a hell of a coach. He just, you know, he told me be smart. You know what I mean? Go out there. We had a lot more experience than AK, so he just said go out there. Keep your hands up and be smart. You know, I, I got a little too relaxed in the first round, and he caught me with some, some good shots. I mean, he, he's a heck of a fighter, man. My hat's off. Now, in the third round, we thought we sensed that you might have hurt him with a body shot because he seemed to, you know, everything seemed to go out of him for a while. Did you sense the same thing? Yeah, um, I, I know I hit him with a couple good, uh, I placed a couple good body shots in there. And really, that's just what we work on, man, Fight. in the gym. I mean, we got some hell of a fighters in the gym, and our team is the body snatchers, baby. Now, I know you came into this tournament with a great resume and fought a couple of world title fights. I know you came in thinking that you were going to win it. Are you disappointed not to be fighting the final tonight? Oh, I'm very disappointed. I mean, that's just, I mean, I, I'm, I feel I'm a world-class fighter, and I expect the best from me at all times. And when I didn't go out there and perform in the fight against Hino, you know, I, I was a little down on myself. But, I mean, I, like I said in my last interview, you know, sometimes I make plans, but God is the best planner, so I, I, don't, I don't look back and hold my head down for nothing. All right, since you know everybody in the tournament so well, I'm going to put you on the spot here. Who do you think is going to win our final? Um, man, it's going to be definitely it's going to be a close fight. I mean, if I was to be a little biased, I think uh, I think Hino beat the best fighter in the tournament in me, so he should win. <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, take nothing away from Troy Ross. Troy Ross is a tremendous fighter, great skills, great background. So definitely, it's going to be a hell of a fight. All right, we're all looking forward to it. He's got a good reason, Nick. You take it away. He, he lost to the guy. No wonder he's picking up. That's it. Back exactly right, Wally. He can make a, pace, a case for both men here. To